you know, as Xander from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He's an actor. He's a writer. He's a mental health advocate, and he's actually kind of funny. He's uh -oh. making me <laughs> making me laugh a couple uh, minutes here. Nikki Brendan, welcome to our studios this morning. I just want to clarify. Please don't call him Nick. I'm your biggest fan, Nick. first of all. You keep fan. saying that, and you're making me feel really awkward. Nick's not my name. I know it's Nikki. Nick's that's what Nick's I said. a guy that talks like that and is a womanizer. Yes. Yeah. That's not me. <laughs> well, what, well, I like the ladies. I don't. I don't womenize. Yeah, you're Nikki. I was saying I have the same thing. I, I hate when people call me Jen. It's Jenny. Yeah, we talked about who Jen yeah, is. Yeah, Jenny. No, nobody likes a Jen. They like a Jenny. No. Right? Well, I mean, people like Jen, but it's 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 a different person. <laughs> so you you are in town uh, to talk about. You're a really big mental health advocate. You have groups that you lead. You know, on Facebook mm -hmm. discussions to really help your fans kind of go through any hard times uh, in their life. And I, I think this is so awesome because not a lot of people in the public eye are vocal about it right. and you are doing something to bring happiness to well, people's Well, public lives. or private. Not public. Yeah, you exactly. Know? It's, 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 people are embarrassed by it or don't know how to speak about it. That's one of the things about depression or anxiety. It, it kind of isolates you, keeps you away from, so. And there is like a stigma to it, but it runs in a lot of families. It runs in my family. My grandmother had it. I would say know? about 90% of people yeah. really kind of like, struggle with it or have struggled with it. And you've point. been really vocal about it and not just that, you're doing something about it, right? So this year you're running the Happiness Runs Amok tour, right? Because so I give a muck, yep. Because you give a muck. Because I give a muck. So tell us more about that. It's, uh, um, it started last year with the uh, kicking depression in the gutter balls. <laughs> um, and that was mainly bowling, but it's, it's, it's to get my fans out. Um, it, but you don't have to be depressed either. It's just, it, it's, yeah. it's just a great time. We had karaoke last night. Um, we're doing bowling tonight, but it's essentially because we had some kids that couldn't get into the karaoke. Okay. So, so what do we do? We have a little event for them. You improvise. And also just kind of like uh, the, that with the kids to have fun too, so they couldn't do that. So we didn't have an event, so we said, let's go bowling with the kids. Yeah. And then we're going to have a little pizza meet and greet from 9 to 11 at somewhere. And you're going to be there, right? I, yes, that's, that's the meet and greet <laughs> aspect of it. No, it's going to be a cardboard cutout. It's going to be me. It's going to be uh, uh, the guys from Supernatural, just all cardboard cutouts. Did you say something about, uh, about hair, by the way, over there? I, with, with the beard thing? Yeah. I, yeah. Because yeah. I'm insecure because um, my girlfriend's doing my hair now. Oh. Less product. And yeah, so it's I funny. like it. I, I think it looks okay, uh, but it's different. It's day two. Yeah. What is day, so what, day two? I see you've got like the wild kind of look. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. the, it, it's 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 the beach. It's it's the surf comber. Um, the surf comber. What I was doing though, putting a lot of product in, and I was looking more like a Nick. Yeah. Yeah. This is more of a Nikki. Yeah, you it's got the Nikki. Free yep. flowing. Maybe a Nicholas. And I see. Look at you're starting a new trend, bringing the gray back. What gray? What gray? Oh, what? Sorry. That's the worst. I clearly need to. I just broke the first rule of improv. <laughs> denial. Yes, you gray. did. It's yes and. You, you mean need. the blonde? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Although, well, women are dyeing their hair gray these days. Are they really? For Lord knows what reason. Well, do they live up yeah. north and wear Birkenstocks? Yes, they do. And don't <laughs> wear deodorant or shave? I have to ask you. So, Buffy the Vampire Slayer was such a huge show. It is such a huge mm -hmm. show. And with you know the invention of Hulu and Netflix and all these places. People are watching it. It's on Hulu right now. It's going to be on other platforms. Are you getting still a lot of new fans kind of coming up to you regarding yeah. that character? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, Buffy was. It's, it's an odd show though because it's it never really went away. It's, You're right. Um, it was just quality. Yeah. And we worked our butts off. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, nothing against charm, but I'm just happy that you know after seven <laughs> years of that hell, it wasn't charm that we that we left behind. You Can know? you believe? So was it 1997 that that show started? I can't. I was on it. Oh, I know. <laughs> So I, I, I can believe it. <laughs> it just seems so long yes. ago. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to age us both. Don't, why, why would you do that? I don't because, know. Because uh, here's the thing, sweetheart. If you age yourself, you might be out of a job. So let's just kind of not. It's like I wasn't even born in 97. There's, 97? There's like a, you are 11 years old right now, okay? <laughs> You there's just big, you just matured quickly. There's a ceiling for me with this job with my looks and age, so I get it. What is totally. it? I don't like probably next it, year. Yeah, okay, there we go. No, not anymore. You are 11 years old. <laughs> um, I'm so happy and thankful that you know you're doing something for these people who maybe feel a little. Um, not connected to society. We mm. all feel that way. Even if we're not going through depression, like you said, sometimes you just want to have a connection to other people, and that's what you're doing. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah. I mean, it's um, like even yesterday, it's like the, there's a, a girl that came and she has massive anxiety. Yeah. And she got out of the house, and she's going she's to come today too for bowling. Yeah. It just makes me really happy. Yeah. 
Um, and then the, uh, a bunch of people didn't even sing, but they just kind of became friends and were, you know, ex exchanging numbers and stuff. Yeah. It's That's just neat to see that, you know? It's, um, it's kind of hard to put in, into words like what happened, so I wrote a song about it. It's neat to see that people getting along, smiling, don't put a ceiling on yourself. Is that it? Word up? Okay. <laughs> Go and now beatbox. <laughs> <laughs> NikkiBrendan.com for more information. Again, pizza party tonight. Call him Nikki, not Nick, okay? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll leave you with this. 25 years I've been going to Starbucks. Yes. 25 years. Last year in Portland, they finally spelled my name right. Oh. N-I-C-K-Y. Okay. I got N-I-C-I, N-I-K-K, and I gave her a $100 tip. 25 <laughs> years, and they can't spell, they can't put a Y. Well, you know they do that for, like, uh, at marketing purposes, right? What's that? So spell that my name wrong? So you'll post it on Instagram. Well, they spell oh, no, my see, name I'm wrong. Oh, no, I don't do that. Okay. What she got was $100 okay. tip. Okay. They've been rapping me for, like, five minutes, so we got to go, Nikki. Ceiling. Okay. <laughs> Ceiling. Bye, everybody. Be happy. <laughs> Thank Seriously. You. Thank you. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Back to you, Heather.